and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. If you are caught up with Sunday's Whip and Waffle, you will know that I have finished my koala, um, which means I am back on, sorry, there's just something on my canvas, uh, which means I am back on working on walking in the rain uh, in my own my own diamond painting time. So I did do a section of this um, when I was close to finishing Koala, I did the background so that I could do the top of his head in the whip and waffle. So I did get a little bit of time doing some more of this building. Um, but hopefully next week I will be able to get a bit more done so you'll be able to see some progress but it's already starting to be rolled which is good uh, the logo is up here so that's it's probably a bit more than these two rows of cover sheets until I get halfway um, but I think we're going to see a little bit more progress in this sort of time in between paintings than we are otherwise um so yeah it didn't slow down for long should we say uh quite a few dark bits on this one but there are a couple of lighter bits as well so i'm going to see if i can get some of these done i can't help myself but use this gorgeous pen from p jelly again i've just topped up my putty in it um, because it's gone down a bit using it with the whip and waffle and at other times. Right, what tray have I got? Um, I must say it is quite handy being able to use sort of the sides around me where I hold the diamonds for whatever current painting I'm working on when it comes to this painting. Uh, it's quite handy having, being able to grab from a few different places because I've got three trays. Oh, I've got a rogue green AB diamond in this little lot. You can see that extra little sparkle. Oh, well, that can stay in there. So I'm trying to do just a few of these. I think quite a few of them are on the next tray to sort of stop those, stop these pink light bits staring at me before I go on to the bigger ones. So where's my, here we go. I try and have my three trays. I've got one on the little shelf that comes out from my drafting table. I've got one on my little rolling cart from Ikea that I tend to um, pull round to the side of me when I'm working on my drafting table. So I normally have those two sides to use. But then when I'm doing a whip and waffle with you guys, I also use the side um, to the left of me. And then I have my computer for the questions to the right of me. So I've got all the spaces to be able to have all my trays laid out to grab. So I'm just tipping into the lids for now because there does only seem to be a few of each. In some cases, there is just one. And I'm just going for the ones that are staring at me at the moment as being quite light symbols. Trying not to have to keep hunting around my cases too much uh, before I start getting into a little bit more of the nitty gritty, should we say, or the darker colours, that's for sure. Um, but my light pad is definitely helping with this one. Okay, they were definitely a batch that was staring at me loads. Um, there are a few more that are staring at me over here, but because I'm often very much drawn to this bottom corner, I feel like I can start on some of these darker ones. 
let's get these little beigey ones done first but yeah I hope everyone's week is going as planned um, and you are getting what you want done done should we say uh, and life is treating you well which is the main thing I've got excess putty I need to take off this have I got all of those probably not probably not but I feel like I have so I'm just sorting out taking just the excess I say I've just refilled the putty in this pen which I'm using instead of wax because I just really really don't like using wax um, it doesn't last anywhere near as long as putty or a glue dot does I know I can put a glue dot in this uh, but I decided to try putty in it for this time okay let's get a colour in a tray and let's have a look at some of the comments questions etc just had a piece of dryer sheet hitchhike with my diamonds um, so girl diamonds she said she was on a no buy last year uh, it wasn't by choice but they simply couldn't afford it and um, so they were very good and their first purchase was December uh, their last purchase before that was December 2022 so they did wait a full year which is amazing going uh, but it was great they said they didn't have to use any self-restraint uh, they worked through their stash uh, and they finished the year with only three uncompleted diamond paintings uh, they finished 12 large ones uh, last year so all in all it worked out well uh, they were also able to live vicariously through me and the wonderful group they said thanks for everything well amazing work uh, there was some absolutely gorgeous images released last year so I think managing to make the whole year without buying anything, you should be so proud. I know when you can't afford it, there is, you know, partly that extra drive or um, I suppose that having to ignore your own feelings a little bit more. Uh, and it can be a bit different if it is something that you can afford to get and you're trying to tell yourself no uh, that can make a difference but it is still uh, an amazing achievement to to go a year without topping up your stash uh, and I'm just so glad that you've had diamond paintings to do because there's nothing worse than being on an for being on a no buy due to necessity and not having any paintings to do um, to help take your mind off the fact that you can't buy any more it just puts it to the front of your mind all the more um, which saps some enjoyment so well done you on getting through quite a bit of your stash is what I'm hoping to do this year is to get through some of my stash I know there will be busier times and times when I can get through a bit more of my stash and times when I can't um, but I'm enjoying I'm enjoying doing my diamond painting nonetheless uh, we're on quite a, a brownie section brown section of this diamond painting while we get this building done um, but I know there's going to be some gorgeous pinks further down and then we're going to properly hit the rainbow later on. 
Uh, Olivia says they love seeing others work on huge canvases. Uh, it inspires them to step out of their comfort zone. Yeah, large canvases can be very daunting, especially when you're new to diamond painting, I think. Um, you, you, you little bit, it's like you need the satisfaction of completing diamond painting projects all the more when you are a new diamond painter um, compared to, you know, once you have sort of completed diamond paintings already and you have an abundance of diamond paintings that are completed, uh, it definitely is, you know, easier, I suppose, to take more time doing a large painting when you've been diamond painting for a while. But it is a wonderful sense of achievement to get large diamond paintings finished. Um, and it is a lovely process seeing the picture sort of come to life as you go along. I'm just browsing for any more sunshines. There probably will be more. I don't know whether to flip to symbols that are standing out for me. I feel like I need to. Where's that? This four, four dots. 3371, bit of darkness. Uh, Shelley says she is doing her first large number above 70 colour painting. Um, she always organised her drills by colour um, in the storage tray. Oh, in the storage tray towers. So in our towers for holding your trays. Um, or she's put them in DMC order. For a Highland Cow from Diamond Art Studio, which is 129 colours, uh, she's followed my advice on putting them in symbol style and she is blown away by how quickly um, she's in a rhythm of where the colours are. Uh, she's only four cover paper sections in. Uh, she says thank you for the advice and all the videos that she gets lost in when diamond painting. I'm so glad it can help you. Um, just finding those colours, it's amazing how much time you can take with that. I think that's why large paintings can be daunting, as even more daunting for new diamond painters as well, because they've not got that, well, they haven't yet built up, I suppose, that um, no thinking process, if that makes sense. So if anybody knows, for example, with driving, you first learn to drive, there's a lot of concentration in there, you're learning all these new things, you know, that you have to, you know, be checking here and checking there, and what are your feet doing, and what are your hands doing, and all the rest of it and even once you've passed your test there's an element of that uh, but then there does get to a point where you start doing all of that naturally or a lot more naturally should I say and you know you find yourself at home and you don't quite remember every single step of the way um, and I think it can be like that with diamond painting there are many things that you can do and a rhythm you get in while diamond painting where thinking isn't a big part of it it's natural it's it's just you automatically go for it go to it uh, and all the rest of it that um, can make the process quicker and more streamlined and therefore when it does say come to um, doing a bigger canvas it doesn't feel as daunting I hope that makes sense oh my chevron that's in my arrows tray the only problem with this tray being on here at the moment is it's not in the light <laughs> <laughs> it 
it's not in the light because it's sort of tucked a little bit under this desk so it can take a minute to find them oh the other thing I noticed in Shelley's comment that did make me smile is the way she said she is only four cover paper sections in and how that probably made sense to all of us I love how that is um that was the right symbol wasn't it yeah um I love how that is sort of a size guide now how many cover paper sections in and when you're only four in and it all makes sense because it's in symbols um it's it's just yeah it makes me chuckle because it's something that we can pretty much all of us can relate to even if we don't use cover paper we can probably relate um from watching my videos how much of the painting that sort how much of the painting area that is um but yeah four to five hours depending on how confetti it is maybe a little bit longer depending on the speed that you diamond paint but for such a big colour painting um, it does take a while to get used to where the diamonds are and you do definitely pick up speed as you figure out you know where your symbols are and you don't spend all your time hunting sorry so I take my cardi off it's got warmer in here it's a little room once I box myself in with my hot air waffling whipping and waffling and going on about all sorts and off on tangents it gets warm <coughs> uh tony a stacy says hello um oh sorry no that's the wrong video she did just say she got a package and says she loves it i still got some whip and waffle questions from sundays on my screen it's actually one that i did read out on sunday so i don't know why it's still there but um yeah the whip and waffle actually finished on sunday a lot quicker than i thought it would so we'll see how long this one is i have uncovered a section rather than uncovering a couple and seeing how far i get uh, i have decided to just see how long a cover paper section takes or maybe a little bit less than a cover paper section still got quite a few confetti bits in this though so we'll see how it goes keep checking i've not missed any before i start covering it with my tray as i work further up my section um, mysterious days she says every time that she thinks she can buy something on launch weekend uh, at least a tray at least if not the stickers or dividers for her storage system and or logbook she says something comes up oh that sucks um she says she has an iphone that she's had since november of 2019 uh, and that's also when her mum got hers as well um Currently, she said hers is actively dying. Uh, she does absolutely everything from it. It's like her laptop. So it has really heavy daily usage. Uh, and also, hers also gets very heavy use. Uh, so they are looking at getting, um, buying the iPhone 15 Pro Max each I went to the Max version uh, for my last phone, which was probably about three, three, four years ago. I think it's the 12 mine. Um, and I loved going to the big one. Loved it. Uh, she says, so they're looking at buying those each plus good cases and screen protectors, which I get. Got to protect got to protect that phone um which will cost a pretty penny she says um but don't mistake she says she's she's grateful that they can afford that even if it's a lot of the budget she says it just means but it means she feels bad 
also asking to buy from our shop um, because that'll cost her a bit above, oh, 2,000 USD. I'm guessing that's for her phones, unless you have a very big wish list. That is a lot for phones. Right, what do I want to do now? Let's get rid of some of this blue. <coughs> I've got quite a bit of some of this blue, so let's, let's try and get rid of the blue and the yellow symbols so I'm not looking at those. I'm still actually wondering whether to change my cases and put my blue and my yellow symbols in one. Um, and then I can pull that one out, do all my blue, yellow and red symbols and then only have two trays to deal with after that. Um, because having two trays is quite a nice setup, like I can access pretty much both of them from when I'm sat at my drafting table or it's very easy to access two of them when I'm working on my desk. But three of them, I end up having to shuffle one about um, and I end up with one stacked and then I want the one that's on the bottom. So if I actually changed it that all the blue and yellow and red symbols were all in one, then I could just use that tray, do them all and then switch to working with two for the black symbols. And I think I'm talking myself into it. And I got completely sidetracked then. Um, <laughs> hence, this is a waffle, because I get sidetracked with things all the time. I think I might have a reshuffle of them when I've finished this video. And I will give you an update next week on how it works. Because as I'm doing the blue symbols now, I currently, the blue symbols, the one that I've done, and the next two that I can see I'm going to do are in three different cases. So I've just had one that was a circle, so it's in with all my circles. This one's a flower, so it's in my flower case. And then I have an, a one that's a triangle, which is in with my arrows and triangles. So I think a reshuffle. Even though I'm part way through it and I'm used to where they are, I think I could relearn them um, fairly quickly if I pulled out all the ones with colour and tried to keep the same sort of flow and just add flowers maybe onto the end of, of a case and do it that way. But yeah, I'll let you guys know how it works throughout the week and I'll update you on next week's um, and I'll have sort of tested both so when it comes to my next high colour one I'll know what makes sense to me. Um, she also says fingers crossed she can add a set of trays and maybe a logbook on her birthday wish list in May. Well, if you find that things from our shop are not something that you can warrant as, you know, an everyday expense or as a, uh, a monthly kind of treat or something because things keep cropping up, then birthdays and Christmas are the best time because they're the time to get things that you want but can't quite make it to that list. It's an ideal time for sure. <coughs> okay. Lisa, she said, walking in the rain is coming along nicely. She said she did order the new high colour painting from Diamond Art Studio uh, today. They are lovely paintings to work on. And being such high colours is not as daunting as you think. It really, really isn't. Um, there are a couple of symbols that are very close together. But once you've seen them both on the canvas, it does end up making sense. Um, as you find a way to tell the difference between them. 
I'll show you an example actually because I started off with one of them. So I have these two symbols. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to get them as close as I can to the camera but still get it to focus because it prefers to focus on further out. But if you can see, this one is actually a bit more like a teardrop and this one is more like a circle with a line coming out of the top of it. Um, but in small scale, they both look very, very similar. But what I found is this one actually nearly touches the top of the square. So when I pay attention to this, when it's touching nearly the top of the symbol, then I know it's this one. And if the symbol's in the middle, like it is on the bulk of them, it's in the middle of the square, then I know it's this one. Um, and that's just something I've as observed. Uh, I have observed as I've gone along. <laughs> words, words, they defeat me. Um, so yeah, you will probably, you will find it is not as bad as you think it's going to be. Um, and actually deciding to um, do one and get in the symbols how it works for you, even if you change them part way through, like I'm about to do. Uh, my mum actually changed her heaven and earth design part way through. Um, she'd laid them out originally, I think, the same as I did mine, or very, very similar sort of set up to how I'd done mine. Uh, however, when I went to Australia a year before last, when having discussions with my mum about the heaven and earth design, she was mentioning how, you know, she's in effect, there's a, there was a couple of symbols and there always is, but there's a few symbols that you sort of associate with some other symbols, um, differently to others so by actually changing those symbols around made a huge amount of sense for her um, you can also find that when you start actually working on a painting <coughs> and I know I've noticed this um, with this one I have a few symbols that uh, you know, apart from the alphabet that goes in a particular order, A, B, C, D, E, etc. <coughs> there are some symbols that I group together um, because they're similar. So it could be hearts, for example, arrows. But what you can find as you are doing the painting is that you notice that these two particular arrows, for example, are always um, near each other, like the shading um, is often close to each other, um, just because of the, the type of painting, you know, the flowers that you're doing. It, it always uses those two particular arrows, and you may find that those arrows are on opposite ends of the rows in your case. And you can switch them about so that they're together, which makes it easier when you're doing the painting without disrupting your whole flow of your case and how things are laid out. So it's nice to sort of take note of that sort of thing as well um, and know that you can change things to make them work for you. I didn't realise or I didn't realize with myself that um, the actual color of the symbols would stand out as much to me when I'm doing them, um, which is why the color of the symbol wasn't a factor when I rearranged, when I sorted out my diamonds. But I've since found that the color of the symbols does actually make a huge difference when I'm doing the painting. Um, and it's it's actually because there's not as many that are yellow, blue and red 
they stand out a little bit more. So it's actually beneficial to me to have those colours together so that I can do all the colours that are all the colour symbols before moving on to the black and white ones. Um, and it should help with my case placement as well. I think I've mentioned it in an earlier one and I didn't think about changing it because I've got used to where the symbols are. But after putting it away while I was doing Koala and then taking it back out again, um, while I'm still familiar with where the symbols are, it's not like I'd just done it last night or the night before. So I'm not as, you know, it's not as ingrained in my head, which means I feel like I can change it and actually get the benefit. So that is now going to be my project when I finish this Whipple Waffle. Just in case you're wondering. It is late on in the evening as I'm filming this. Um, I've been working on... Um, me and Megan have been working on new items for the shop, which should be up by now. It should have been up a few days ago when you're watching this. Um, new stock items. And I'd set up this canvas ready to do my whip and waffle. Got distracted with Megan getting stuff done for quite a while. And I was going to take it off this easel to put it on my drafting table to do some this evening and then I was like do you know what I'll just chat and time and paint so if I'm waffling more than normal it's because it's a lot later than normal than I normally do with waffles so you've got me tighter I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but doing this section and then sorting out my diamonds should take me up till bedtime we shall see. Right, did I get all of those? I think I did. I'm still working on yellow symbols. I've done all the blue. So I'm now working on yellow and now I'm going to my third case to get a yellow symbol or my third tray. Anyway, Grey Legrand, she says, hitting pause. I love it when she says hitting pause. It's like, stop talking while I address what I've got in my head from what you've just said. And then I'll play again and then I'll hit pause again. Always makes me smile every time. Uh, she says, ah, a confession. She says, new paint gem minis. Yes, I have purchased the new paint gem minis. I am not sorry. Um, and I, I don't think... I have ever said or would ever say that I will not purchase any new paintings throughout the year uh, because that would include paint geminis and quite frankly I like having lots to do. It's not a stash level that frightens me the paint geminis. I absolutely love having them to do because I know I will do them all at some point. Uh, she says she has a confession too. Um, she purchased Diamond Art Club's Glacial Lake uh, on President's Day because she couldn't resist it any longer. Well, they're the paintings to buy. They're the paintings to buy. The ones that excite you, the ones that you can't resist, the ones that you need to have, the ones that are a good deal. And that's only if you're trying to control your stash. I am only doing it because I live in the UK. We don't have huge houses unless you're millionaires, um, which we aren't. Um, we have a three bed semi-detached house that has six people living in it. And do you know what? It works. However, I don't have the space for as many paintings as I'd like. If I had a big old American house, I would probably not have, not be on a watch what I spend right now because I would have the space to put them. Um, but I don't. So uh, she says, why is she such a sucker for large paintings? She says, and it's squares to boot. 
uh, because the images look beautiful is why you are a sucker for large paintings and if you're anything like me it's because your head lies to you all the time and tells you that they're not actually going to take that long to complete and it dulls down it hugely dulls down the amount of time you think a painting is going to take to actually complete um, and before you know it a month or two has gone by and the painting's not completed yet come on we're at the end of february i started this painting in january i'm not even halfway through and you go yes but you're just doing this on thursdays yes but no because really i've had a good couple of weeks on this that hasn't just been a Thursday it's been every day of the week because I finished my first painting of the year I finished off my whips from last year I finished off purple tiger I finished off koala in a week but that's not a big painting so your brain just tricks you which means you must really really want it maybe right where is this letter x oh it's there <laughs> it's because i have put it as a letter x and not as a cross it's one of those it could be either or but let's get the last of my yellow ones oh nearly i've got the number eight there that's yellow get the last of my yellow ones done and then i can figure out which is the best of the others so where's number eight it's here, just one, one lonely little eight. Maybe I should have pulled those out while I was going, but I probably would have confused myself even more if I did that. So, do I fill in some of this pink or do I go for some bulk? Let's go for some bulk. I feel like it will be easier to spot the other ones if I get some of the bulk amounts done that I've got in this greenery, green slash brown. Um, oh, she said it squares, it is 63,616 diamonds, but so pretty. You will love doing it. If it is a painting that you have had to buy because you couldn't resist any longer, then you will love getting it completed. So enjoy the process make it a nice long process and yeah just go with it who am i to talk i'm forever breaking my i'm going to try not to buy anything and i'm sure i will be breaking it quite a few more times this year that's for sure uh, Blossom Chops says her 11-year-old um, likes stitch, so she has keychains, stickers and some pictures. I love doing the little off-the-canvas things. I haven't done any for a while, uh, and I really should because I do have a couple of things I want to do. I have that sign for the shop that I wanted to do, um, and I've still not done that either. Um, but yeah, I just, I gravitate towards grabbing a paint gem mini, uh, and I really should remember that I have off the canvas as well and grab some of those to do. Uh, Lady Dax, she says she has to say as soon as she set herself up on a no buy, uh, then she buys so much more than she usually would. <laughs> it's always the case always the case I mean I do have a little outlet that I can use to help me not be buying paintings as much while I try and get through my stash um, but I must say I have I have well and truly used that outlet in the last few months buying things for the shop 
and for Advent because that makes me just as excited as if I was buying it for me. Uh, partly because I can have some of it or I can use some of it and I can get excited over some of it. Uh, and I've got, yeah, I've got a couple of things that, that were waiting on that I am so excited to see. Uh, and it's both stock and Advent stuff. So I do manage to get a bit of enjoyment or a lot of enjoyment from that, which has definitely helped uh, me feel as though I'm still getting new things for my hobby. Um, and as I say, I'm not telling myself it's a no buy because if I do, then I will de break that rule because I've told myself a rule. Um, I'm not the kind of person that can tell herself rules. Um, she says today she snagged Mouse in the House on the Diamond Art Studio launch. That one is so cute. She said, as well as Spring Snail off her wish list. Uh, she says, on she and she's on a no buy. She said she just doesn't think. You need to not be on a no buy. You need to not tell yourself that you can't have anything. You just need to say to yourself, that you can have what you really, really love and see if that helps. It might save you some money, it might not. Who knows, you've just got to test the theory and see if it works for you. She says, oh, and also she got a delivery of three paint gem mini sets. She said she had to get the three bundle display books from us at Add More Zest uh, and her bank account doesn't stand a chance. But there's just so many exciting things. That's the thing. Um, there's just so much stuff to love that it's it's just got to be done. It's got to be done. I don't blame you at all. Um... Nova Scotian Hiker, she says Cosmic Trip is all kitted up. So that's a painting from Diamond Art Club that I have completed. It was definitely one that arrived and snuck straight in to being, do, being done. I feel like by the time I open my Christmas one from Dreamer Designs, which is due to be unboxed soon, <laughs> By the time I open it up, I'll be wanting to kit that one up so I actually get it done for Christmas. <laughs> because I, I absolutely I absolutely adored White Christmas. It got pushed in front. It was the only painting I worked in in November. Absolutely adore it, hung up at Christmas. But the new Christmas one that I got between Christmas and New Year from Dreamer Designs is also another absolute love of mine and I'm like how can I end up with both of them up because it is just absolutely adorable. Anyway uh, so she, yeah she says Cosmic Trip is all kitted up, told you, tangents um, and ready to go once she finishes home is where the magic is. So four and a half sections to go and um, she's almost finished. And that comment, oh, that comment was left one day ago. So maybe she'll have finished, though, from when I'm filming this, maybe she'll have finished by the time this video goes up. Because I do film it at the weekend. Just life gets far too busy throughout the week to try and get any filming done in the week, unless it's June Waffle or December Waffle, December Advent event. It's the only time I tend to film in the week. On occasion, I will film in the day through the week if somebody is off work. Though having said that, Hubby was off work last week and I was in the shop every single day and I have still got a mountain of stuff to do. So it won't be happening anytime soon. Um, Emily, she says her six and eight year olds 
Uh, started with stickers, always a good start. Kids love stickers, adults love stickers. We just don't have as many places to stick them as we did when we were kids because we have to clean it off the furniture or replace the furniture. We own the furniture. We can't just go sticking them anywhere we want. Um, she said uh, she has since got them simple 20 by 20 ones uh, and split them into at least nine sections so they can do a little bit at a time and it seems to work for them. That is awesome. So much fun. I love that they get into it but yeah you definitely need to do smaller ones with young ones I'd say. Uh, there'll be the odd quirky child who can do a bigger one um, and it not phase them but yeah most of them they need to be smaller or they need to be partial or they need to be both. Um, and then it's something that they can get that sense of achievement from. Uh, Susan, she says she has just purchased birds and exotic fruits from Paint Gem Minis today. She says she also got more cover papers, stickers and zesty trays in stock colours, uh, white and grey as well today. It's always nice to have. Um, different colour options for trays. I know it doesn't work for everybody, but I love having different colour options. I'm forever changing them. I'm forever changing cover papers as well. Though every time we've got new ones, I kind of feel like I want to change out ones that I've got on paintings already. Uh, and I may start doing that as just like a little, I don't know, just, just a little bit of fun. Uh, like when I get to the end of a row and I'm ready to move cover papers up, I might just change the whole set and enjoy a different set for a bit because I look at that as much as I'm looking at this. So if you end up seeing a different set of cover papers at some point, then I've probably ended up having a little bit of a mess. Right, that's done. Okay, this section is actually taking me longer than I thought. I do still have some questions, I think. Yeah, I still have, oh, I have a fair amount of questions to go. So we'll keep diamond painting for a while and see how far we get. But I am going to do sort of the big amounts of colours. Um, and then if it does get closer to sort of, this is taking a long time, whip and waffle, which is not there yet. Don't get me wrong, it's not there yet. Uh, but when it does get to that point, if I have only got a few odd diamonds, then it will feel like it will, either feel like it will go quicker or I'll feel like you can at least see the section pretty much completed when I finish it up. It's all these, it's all these that I keep seeing that I only need like two or three of. And I know they take so much time. It's probably why I end up going to bed like late some nights, just because I'm just like, oh, just it's only a little bit I've got to do. And then by the time I've voted, opened 50 pots later, it's like, oh, okay, maybe that did take a bit longer than I thought. Right, just decided to take a, a minute and get a brew then before it got too late for me to have coffee which is what keeps me surviving <coughs> so where were we <laughs> comments questions etc so Beth she said she has a bit of a bullet and she has ordered outside the sweet shop I'm so excited to do that one as well don't get me wrong I'm loving this one but you know when your brain always ticks as soon even if you're doing one you love of another one that you love but then again I look at my stash at the moment and I'm like oh yeah but that one oh yeah but that one I'm really hoping that once I have de-kitted a koala uh, that my decision wheel doesn't pick the free square 
I have three squares within my decision wheels, which means I get to pick. So some of them are recording to manufacturer uh, and some of them are just in general. Uh, here's a free square, you choose whatever you want to do. And I, I, don't, I don't know that I'm ready for that, to be fair. I think that would be even harder. Um, then the decision wheel picking, you know, maybe something that isn't one of those hard decisions, but is still a painting that I love. Anyway, so she's just sort of outside the sweet shop. She says when she comes to do it, she plans on using the art dot for draw system. Uh, it holds 192 bottles uh, and she can put the rest on top. Now, I do have that draw system. Um, I think it's because I can't see all four drawers at once is what makes me think I'm not going to use it for that. Um, I might use it in the June waffle or the December one. That may also depend on the amount of diamonds because if I can use a tray storage system like I did for one of my whip and waffles and have the diamonds in the trays ready to go then I'd like to use that system again and um, it only works when I'm doing sort of one of those whip and waffles because I have a, a safe space to put it and the only filming I'm pretty much doing is using that system um, but yeah, if not, I think I may use it for one of the whip and waffles to be able to have all the diamonds in one drawer. Uh, though it might be a nice one to use um, for whatever the next painting I kit up. I'll have to see how many fit in a drawer. Or maybe it would be a good paint gem system so I can take out the drawer when I'm doing my paint gem maybe empty the bottles out of well no maybe not I was thinking maybe empty the bottles out of one but no I could kit up um, a few paint gems in each drawer and then maybe even mix up the paintings and pull out the drawer according to the painting oh you're giving me ideas now that's dangerous <laughs> It's dangerous when it comes to me and kitting up. You know, I've already scheduled in a paint gem kitting up video, but now I'm actually thinking, do I kit up four paint gem sets, one per drawer, ditch my little, ditch my little storage cases that I use currently, only for a short amount of time. We're not talking a huge amount of time but ditch that for a short amount of time and kit up four paint gem mini sets. So do it as like an epic video, which means it won't feel like I'm kitting up paint gem all the time because it will be done in sort of one big block. Um, kit up four paint gem mini sets, but then mix up the canvases and then depending on which canvas gets chosen depends on which drawer I pull out to do said canvas. Hmm. Me likes that idea. That was nothing to do with what you said. But you mentioned the art dot drawers. And I have the art dot drawers. And I want to have a really good use for them. And I actually think that would be a nice um, use for those drawers. Uh, or maybe I could, maybe three, and one of them holds the paintings in the bottom. And then if there's any ABs, I could store the ABs with them in the smaller pots. And I could have the bottom drawer or the top drawer, whichever it may be, to hold the canvases. And then I open the top drawer, pull out a canvas, pull out the drawer that it goes with, 
and take it on its merry little way um, and sort of work through them as a mix rather than as a full. Be a bit of an epic kit on that, wouldn't it? Could be fun though. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Um, she also says, Bev says she looked after her five year old, five month old great niece on Tuesday. Five month old stays stiller than a five year old. Um, while her mum had a driving lesson, she said she hadn't quite finished her section when she was dropped off. Uh, and she wasn't happy staying in her pram, so she sat her on her knee uh, and carried on. <laughs> she said the problem was she kept trying to grab her new pink and purple pen. Um, she said so she wedged her in between herself and the arm of the couch uh, and gave her the new striped zesty tray to hold. She says don't worry, she did remove the stopper. Good stoppers are not for children. Um, she said she reckons it makes a great, a great teething toy, and her first tooth came through the day after. Oh bless! Thing is, now you can't give it her again because she's got teeth now, and she'll end up popping a hole in your trap. <laughs> she says she'll have a diamond painting in no time. I am sure you will. I am sure she will be so excited to come round because she can do diamond painting just start collecting stickers and things now get her trained up young she said she hopes everyone is having a great day yes i am having a great day thank you i'm having a great day because of your comment as well it's really made me think that that might be it's a bit of a change up um i do like my tubs for the paint gem minis, the fact that it kept the canvases together. Um, and, you know, I may still prefer to use that if there's a, you know, if I'm going to be taking some on a trip or something with me. Um, but I really like the idea of setting up, um, I think, three of them. To be practical, three of them. Um, because I wouldn't want to put the canvases in the top because it would take me a while to get through them. I would rather have them protected by putting them in a drawer. But yeah, I think that could work really, really well. So, yes, thank you very much for the random brain thought. Got a little piece of dryer sheet in this one as well. Uh, the random thought by mentioning the art dot drawers. And let me know how they go with the big one. I mean, if you've got space for the drawers to be next to you, I can imagine the drawers working really well. Um, because it's my rolling cart that tends to be next to me um, and to tuck it out of the way. So when I'm in here doing whip and waffles, filming and whatever else, I need to tuck my rolling cart away and I couldn't tuck it away with the drawers on it because it would get it doesn't tuck under the little section um, of my drafting table with with anything bigger than sort of a tray insert on it um, but yeah if you've got a desk for it to work on I think that'll be a nice way to sort of tuck it a little, you know, a little bit. It won't take as much space, but it will still be good access when you're working on it. it. Depends on your setup. I think a lot of the time, depending on how you set up, depends on what works best. Um, so I'm kind of excited to try a new one, even if it's not for my big colour painting. That is after I've rearranged my diamonds. When I finished, do you know, I'm actually, I've actually just moved one about in my tray. So I have multiple circles. Uh, all my circles are together. And like this one is a circle within a circle within a circle, a bit like a target. Um, but then the other pink ones that I've done um, are very similar. They're sort of swirls. 
so they've got a circle-ish pattern so I've included them with my circles but this circle and circle target let's call it what it is this target one was on the opposite end of the row and I've just moved it together next to the others so the three purples are together and it actually puts them real next to this dark blue as well which I've noticed so that's one symbol that I have switched just a little bit so it works better for the painting uh, because it used to be in between a bright pink and a bright green so putting it with the other purples makes a lot more sense so I've switched to doing some of these lighter colors because now I've done the sort of colors that there was a lot of it's these that are jumping out at me and I very much like going for the for the symbols that jump out at me on this painting because then I feel like I'm less likely to miss any I still will probably miss some but I'm trying to make that the least amount possible because I'm itching to do this arrow um, but I know it's scattered all over the place and I know it's a symbol that I miss so I want to get these pinks and purples out of the way where's that letter S try and do my alphabet um, Joanne says theatrical Thursday definitely feels like that today this is what happens when you catch me later in the evening it's not always a good thing she says oh uh, Sharon says oh she says you have a new light set up she said or are the gems extra sparkly uh, she said it was a bit glary today um, I've had these new lights for quite a few months now so it does depend when you last saw a video um, these diamonds are very sparkly though and I'm actually wondering if maybe they were tilted up a little bit maybe if I tilt them down a little bit but these are super sparkly I mean these lights are practically flat to my desk to the right and to the left of me now um, but yeah these these diamonds are are very nice very nice and sparkly diamonds um Sharon also says she says PS she says OMG she says she loves her air fryer too um she's not used her oven apart from Sunday dinner <laughs> love it absolutely love it the only thing is how often you clean it because you just don't clean the oven the same um, which is probably why it's such a big job that we really don't like doing because it's just not second nature to clean that as much or as often like you know pretty much every time that you use it unless you've cooked something like chicken dippers two days on the run um, but yeah constantly washing the air fryer that's the only thing I think I actually managed to get both air fryer drawers clean at the same time and it wasn't touched the minute Megan walked back into the house the other day. I was quite impressed though she did go out for a meal with friends so that's probably why it didn't happen um, but yeah I, I just feel like that thing is forever getting cleaned though it did take us a while to realize but we can actually put ours in the dishwasher so while it takes up a load of space so it's not always done it is nice on occasion to give it a dishwasher clean or if we've got practically a full load but not quite then one of the air fryer drawers will go in the dishwasher because at least then they're getting a good cleaning and I much prefer to put the dishwasher on at night um, because then it can get emptied and I don't have dishes all over the side all day while the dishwasher's on so 
evening time is much better. Then we can just do the eco four hours and let it let it run its course and do its thing while we have a nap. Uh, Carries says watching another amazing whip and waffle with another migraine. Oh. Uh, she says, but she went today and got her daith piercing. So this is, I think this is the, is that the piercing that we're on about in your ear that can help with migraines? Uh, so there's 50-50 chance it will help. 50-50 is better than nothing. Um, and she's not at a point of willing to try anything. She said insurance is denying everything the providers are prescribing. So here we go. Well, I really, really hope that it has worked for you. Even if it is a 50-50, I hope you're in the right 50. Um, because when things go on for so long, especially when it's like pain, um, yeah, you just need anything you can to help it out, to help it out. That is still looking rather shiny to me. I'm trying to see if I can, maybe if I... I've pointed one to the ceiling in the hope that this, maybe that's a little bit easier to see. Maybe we'll try that. It's not quite as bright when I look down here, but it still seems fairly bright in my camera as though it's still letting the light get in. I'm not sure if it's going to set the shadows off though, so do let me know. But there's definitely some sparkle going on. Um, she says, thank you so much for always being here for us and for keeping us company. Uh, she says her mental health is taking a bit of a dive with everything, she says, and your videos are one of my good feels for the day. Oh, well, I'm so happy that I can help, even if it's not in the most productive way. Um, but to help help the days go a little bit easier for you. And I really hope that that piercing, is, it works for you. It's one of the things that works for you because it would have been nice that, you know, things passed on as potential remedies from other subscribers has helped another subscriber out, especially one that seems to be suffering so much with them. So oh, I'd love positive news next week would be really really good so let us know how they're working for you right I'm gonna have to do that arrow because it just keeps staring at me and I know I'm probably gonna miss some but I'm gonna do it anyway because I just keep seeing them uh, all things crafty by Kaz says she's loving the progress she also says she's having a good week so far uh, as she went back to work yesterday on the Wednesday. See, ha going back to work and having a good week doesn't always commute with me as being the same thing. Though I know why you're glad to be back to work and glad to be back to normal um, because your mum's out of the hospital, but um, still... Then again, I love my work, so just but that but that's because I work for myself as much as as anything. Um, I can't imagine being as excited to go back to work for an employer as I could be as excited as going to work um, when I get to buy diamond painting goodies. Okay, is that that one? It is. Turn my little pot round to check I've got the right symbol. Uh, Tiffany says she has only one long-term outstanding whip um, and a decent amount of progress on Cosmic Trip. Awesome. Seems to be quite a few of us going for a bit of a cleaner slate, should we say? Cleaner this time, trying to sort of keep things down. As I talk about kitting three paint gem minis up again instead of two. But I, it is with a twist. I am doing it a bit different. And that's the only reason I'm thinking of kitting up the three. Is because I can mix them up and not and treat them as one. 
um, rather than treating them as individual ones and only working on one type of paint gem each time. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Uh, Vanessa says she realises she's late to the live. You're all right, it's not a live one, this one. Um, but I just read comments from previous weeks. Um, I try to keep us up to date with them as I can, but there's often a little bit of a crossover depending on when people watch them uh, and when comments are left and when I film. Um, but I love the fact that it's sort of a conversation um, and it's a little bit easier than a live because you don't, because I'm reading out the comments first. So therefore you're not sort of missing anything that's been said sometimes on lives and I get why because it can be confusing but sometimes on lives people answer questions without actually reading them out and if you miss the comment um, then you miss the question then the answer makes no sense whatsoever so I like doing it this way because then I can read them out and also I can do what I did before and have a pause and go and have a brew <laughs> and come back out and carry on and and you guys you know just get my video doing the little swish to say I've switched over right just changed my battery over it was starting to flash and I thought I am that close to finishing this section now and I do still have a few comments that I am going to finish the section so we'll change over the battery so that we don't have that interruption. Uh, Kim, she says she's with Luna. She says she doesn't like it when someone's at the door either. See, she behaves a lot better for, for Will than she does for me when the door goes. The door went when I was filming earlier on today and she stopped and she sat on the couch while he went to the door because we have been trying to teach her um, when there's two of us in the house it's a lot easier but to get on the couch and wait there while somebody goes to the door and when there's two of us in the house it's a lot easier and she does it um, but when it's just one of us sort of about it's been a bit harder but she did do it for Will today so here's hope that she'll actually listen to me and do it as well. We'll see. She says, instead of going berserk though, she says, Kim says she tries to be as quiet as possible so they don't think anybody is at home. <laughs> she says she was sealing a round painting, diamond painting today, uh, when she noticed that she had missed placing six rounds she says what a doofus she says she quickly wiped off the sealer placed the diamonds and then resealed the section she says that beats rebecca with missing symbols we all do it we all do it i am sure i will have some diamond paintings rolled up somewhere that are completely missing parts of them no doubt so I'm just trying to get some of these little rogue single placing little bits that are about and then I'll try and work on finishing up each little part. Sometimes I'll leave them till really close to the end but more often than not every now and then I'm like okay it's like it's tidy up time and I go and fill all the little symbols that are on their own in the little gaps uh, and then I go back to okay what symbols jumping out at me or what symbols should we do next so it's nice to have a little fill the gap kind of section get all those single bits and now I've sort of got two different lots left to do um, Kim also says, she says, that cover minder idea is brilliant. She said, thank you. Well, I'm glad I could pass it on uh, and it could be helpful. 
Right, what symbol's that one? Is that that one? It is. So it looks a bit longer than just a dot. There is only one circle with a dot in it, isn't there? There's definitely that one there. Just double check it. Oh no, there's one with a bigger dot. It's definitely not that one. There's one with a big dot inside it and one with a small dot. It's definitely one with a small dot. Looks a little bit elongated, the dot inside it, but I think that's just the way it's gone on the canvas. It is actually this one. And it does make sense colour-wise. Uh, Kathy says, count me as one of those that would love to see a restock of the limited edition pen from the February launch. She said it's gorgeous, especially with those special edition trays. Um, we are hoping the supplier can get us more. One of our suppliers was able to get us a couple, uh, but I did make a little bit of a boo-boo with a couple of orders which hasn't happened in a while, absolutely devastated me for about an hour. Um, but luckily, the two people that it affected were absolutely amazing. Um, so our original supplier, or one of our suppliers, has been able to get us a couple, um, which means I can put things right um, for those customers. And another supplier is looking into whether they can get some more for us. So if they can, then um, we will get a few to be able to do a mini restock of them because it's been a while since pens have gone that quick on a launch. Uh, Say so we did have a few that arrived damaged, but we still had a decent amount. So we definitely did not expect it to disappear that quick. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely see if we can. I think it was partly the colourway as well. Um, we're very much enjoying, or at least I am very much enjoying the colourways recently and the matching up. Sorry, I'm hunting for these two symbols. It's this one that I'm hunting for and not finding. Um, it should be in with my triangles. Oh, it is in with my triangles. Um, yeah, very much enjoying the sort of colourway. This next month's one is a little bit different. Um, but you will see why. But we, we're liking the matching. Very much liking the matching. Um, she also says, Kathy also says, she says, thanks for keeping me company tonight as she diamond paints. She says, P.S. as a night owl, she says she does read her emails at two in the morning. I read my emails all times of day. I am awful for it. Um, I try to try my hardest to just stick to responding within business hours. Um, because otherwise I never switch off from work. But it's very hard. Very, very hard. Right, is this one in here? Okay, we've got the star. I found the star, so let's do that one. Though there is only one of them. Oop. I was looking for that circle one, but I could actually have it in zeros. I do have it in zeros. See, there are some things that look like a zero or an O to me, so I put it in alphabet. But then when I'm looking at the canvas, it doesn't look like an O. It looks like a circle. So I may have to leave some room in some cases if I need to do some adjusting of those as well. Oh, two more to go. Uh, Inga, she says, oh, she says the talk about starting diamond painting had her remember back when she was uh, about 10 to 12 about how her homeroom teacher um, organised cross-stitch projects of small fruit, she says, for the whole class to be done as gifts for Mother's Day. She said she did an apple 
uh, and her mom still has it 20 plus years later. She says, but she was caught hook, line and sinker. She says, and begged my parents for the cross stitch book the teacher used for the designs. She says she remembers doing a picture 50 by 70 stitches. Uh, it taking days and her being so proud because it seemed so huge. I definitely get that. Um, my parents used to buy me sort of craft kits and things for Christmas and birthdays for many years, always enjoyed crafts. Uh, and they bought me this really gorgeous letter R as a cross stitch um, and said they would frame it for me once it was done. Um, uh, they thought it would take me a while and I finished it by the end of the Christmas holidays. But absolutely loved it and I've done loads of, kind of cross stitch since for many, many years. Uh, right, I do still have some comments left because it's night time and I have waffled a lot. Um, but I will carry on with those next week. Let me move that light back now. See, it is definitely, it's the diamonds. So let me know which was better. And maybe I just have to do this whip and waffle with one light pointing to the roof so that it doesn't shine off. Though I think it is some of these darker ones are reflecting it even more so. Um, it is gorgeous diamonds, but they definitely do sparkle. Or maybe I need to work on it flat. Maybe if I work on this one flat and not on the easel, that would be better. Anyway, let me know. I'm more than happy to work on it flat for the purposes of whip and waffles. Um, I think that might make it, say that's flat, that might make it a bit clearer for you all. But yeah, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on the paint gem as well. I am de-kitting a set this week that I've finished, uh, but the kitting up well, I will have already de-kitted by the time you watch this a paint gem set, but I'm not actually due to kit one up until next week. So let me know, should I kit up three at once and do a bit of a mammoth kitting up? Kit them up in my storage trays that are already stuck at the corner of my desk anyway. Should I kit them up in there and sort of mix three up together? Um, I'd say that would spread out the de-kitting and the kitting ups of paint gem as well because I do realise I get through those quite often a lot quicker than others so it might help vary things up a bit. Let me know because I do read the comments before it gets to whip and waffle time um, or I have a brief read. I, I don't necessarily have an exact word for word read but I try and have a brief one. And if I've not got to your question from last week, then it will start off next week's. Um, and yeah, we'll see how far I get along with this. I'm going to move this over to my drafting table ready for next week and have a sort out of my diamonds. I kind of feel like I should just carry on this whip and waffle and sort out my diamonds with you. Because I know a lot of you will be like, mm, I like the idea of seeing what you're doing. So, while I have a fresh battery, let me move, turn my light pad off. Uh, it is a battery operated light pad, but I only use this A4 one on this easel. Um, and it had run out of battery. So I had it plugged in. So let's have a quick look. Let me, ooh, likes to focus on something, this camera. Focus on these, please, look. Things to focus on. Let me move my laptop out of the way and put my pen safe. But, so I have, these are the three trays. They go in the art dot storage case and that is where I keep them in the week when only work on walking in the rain um, when I'm only working on it on a Thursday that is where they stay 
but when I am working on it through the week, I keep them out um, and I just stack a couple. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is, if I put all my coloured ones in this, so my red, my blue and my yellow symbols in this, and then shrink these down and then potentially move these in with the others. So if I take... So I'm taking out the ones, they're the black ones, and they're the blue. Black, that's yellow, well, yellow, blue. I'm just going to put them all together. These are all black, I'm trying to keep them sort of clustered. So they're flowers, that's a flower. They're sort of egg timers. But then I have a few that are just random not really themed so if I take these out that's yellow and then I've got diamonds diamond shapes so they're ones that do need to stay together so the diamond shapes and the flowers do need to stay like in some way together and then I've got a moon so trying to think of the best way to do this. So if I just start with yellow, <coughs> and I know there's a couple of the yellow ones that are quite solid colours, or maybe I should do it in the order of the trays. So if we've got any yellow letters, and if I go, I'm going across each one so that I can try and keep them in order so the letter V is yellow that X is yellow I am going to pull out any blues as well so I'm sort of looking at both at the moment so I've gone across here I can move those over that is a red then we've got they're all black that's yellow that's the number eight and then I've got yellow arrows that's blue, they're yellow, yellow arrow. I was gonna go back on myself then, but no. That's red, that's a yellow arrow, yellow triangle, they're red. They're actually more red than I thought. That's blue, that's yellow. Okay, so they should all be black symbols. So before I start messing with my blacks, I just want to check they, okay, they are all black now. So now if I go on to here, so I could put my diamond and my heart there because diamonds are close to those big triangles. And let's have a look what we've got of yellow. So we've got a yellow tick a yellow question mark, the 310 and 939 are yellow. Now I've done a lot of those two. So what I'm doing is they were both near the end. I'm putting them near the end again, just because my brain knows it's to the right of the case. That's yellow. We just check I've not missed any blues or reds on the way. That's yellow. That's yellow. And I'm going all the way across before I pull one out. That's blue. That's yellow. That's yellow. That's a yellow square. So let's start a new row with those because they're squares. Whereas those are circles. So where were we? Up here. That's yellow. That's a square. Then we've got blues. Okay, I think that is all of the yellows out of there. Yellows, reds, blues. Okay. So I've got a couple more yellows here. Then I have four reds. Oh, and I actually only have six that are blues. 
I thought I had more than that. So if we put those yellow flowers there and then so if I move an empty pot there, that's what I could do. I've got two lots of 310 here, right? And this is 310 with like five diamonds in it. So if I tip that into there, put my 310 in there and put my spare 310s next to it, then that sort of fills that gap and the refill is close. And then I could put my four red ones and then I can put my six blue ones. So arrow, arrow, circle, well I did have in with my squares and then flower. So they are only yellow, red and blue symbols. And then I do have some extra pots, which I may move over to here to put them with their relevant colours. But I'll look at that one in a minute. Let's not get too eager. OK, alphabets. Let's go back to alphabets again. So I'm ending with Y there. And then I'm actually starting with some number twos, threes, fours, six, and seven. And I've got a rogue diamond stuck in there that I'm trying to get out. Then we've got arrows. So I'm just moving everything up because I did sort the arrows by type. So I'm going to try and keep them together, though I'm actually going to move those two purples together. They're arrows, and then we go into triangles. And those two move down. Those two. Those two. Those two. Okay. So that's sort of, I've just scooted everything down. Uh, and in doing that, what I can do that would make sense to me is pop these sort of diamond shapes with the sort of arrows and one that's that's possibly a little bit of a diamond shape. Uh, I've also got the triangles that's a bit like the um, hazmat symbol, should we say, um, the hazard symbol. I can keep that together. So this is keeping all my diamond types together. And then I currently have, well, I have two here, but then I have four spaces. So before I fit, oh, actually, my egg timers are like triangles. So let's put my egg timers in there as well. And then I'm gonna go back to this one scoot everything along. Again, I worked in rows across, going from the bottom up. So I'm scooting these the same sort of way. And that actually works quite well because that puts all of those ones together. And then I've actually got my full stop and my semicolon and, and going into circles are all together because that's sort of one dot, two dots, three dots. They're all together, which is nice. Uh, my teardrops aren't all together, so I am going to stack one up that way because I want those together. I don't want to confuse myself. Uh, they're my purple circles, so I think I'll still keep them together because I do have a couple of circles that aren't necessarily themed. But I do need to scoot them over because I then move into stars. So they're stars. And then that actually gives me a nice fresh new line for all my squares. Squares. Square. I'm actually going to move that rectangle one in with my squares because it's very similar. 
has got a square sort of look on the canvas. Then I've got my two half a squares followed by my heart, spade, club and what looks like a stitch. So let's actually put the moon in with those and then I definitely want to keep my flowers together. So let's put my flowers there and then let's see how these go. So these are sort of what I call my others but I do actually class this tray this tray as the second tray and I class this tray as the first tray so it actually makes sense to me to have all the random symbols in that second tray so all I'm going to do now is see if any of these extra diamonds are for this tray because I may as well put them in the same tray if they're not then I'll leave them in here so 154 isn't that no that's 550 <laughs> I thought that was what my purple was but it's not okay this is where it could be fun in fact 154 let's have a look because these are in order it's the letter V so it's actually in here anyway and I have space oh look at this this has ended up being a whip and waffle with maintenance in the end of it but it's actually easier to look on the diamond painting and find the symbol now so 300 is it's in here it's the blue circle that one is still too full but that one should stay in here anyway 307s in here as well 400 see i've only got a few of those 400 is the mountain uh, but that one's actually too full i'd say huh? it's a borderline if I need to clear the space, I might clear the space. So this one can go in this tray. 938, that looks full. 938 is actually in here. It is a yellow arrow. So that one is too full, but that belongs in here anyway. 972. I've just done a quick look for that one because it was bright orange. So that one's still in here, but I'm nowhere near using that yet because that will be at the other end where it's really bright. Three, three, seven, one's in here as well. As soon as I've seen it, it's like that's a dark brown and that's not going to all fit in there. So, so those four colours belong with these diamonds. This 400, close enough. Um, is going to go up here there's no point in reshuffling to fit it in this row because they're all chevrons that belong together and then this goes into triangles and different orientations so yeah i'm gonna see how i like this instead so just to give you a brief rundown this is what i class as my first tray i have my letters or anything i class as letters um, I then have numbers and again anything that I class as numbers so it's basically any tally so your little tally charts that make up numbers are in here with the numbers then I've got arrows followed by triangles because they're very close followed by diamonds because they're close-ish to triangles they're close to squares as well, but I'm happy with them being in triangles. Um, and then I have uh, keyboard symbols. Uh, then I have dots, various numbers of dots, teardrops going into circles, stars, squares, flowers, hearts, all the other random symbols. And I don't think I've missed any that are a different colour but time will tell but what's quite nice now is 
not only are my symbols um, I've been able to move a couple a little bit more together um, what I can also do is this is now just my coloured symbols so I can start with this tray and then I can stack one of these on top and actually have access to both of these trays while I'm working on that diamond painting and I think that will work better for me uh, especially the fact that I will be working with two of them one on my Ikea rolling cart directly to the left of me uh, and the other one to the left but in front sort of like that on the little side of my drafting table and the only time it's not as easy to see this is when I'm working on the far right hand side of my painting because the table is fixed to the left whereas my cart moves with me <laughs> as I move down the time of painting but yeah we shall see how that all goes uh, I'm thinking tray number two goes on the table tray number one which is what I class starts with letters will go on my rolling cart because that ends up in front and then this one I will pop on the top um, to basically pull out and use first and then put it aside and not have to touch it again for the whole of my diamond painting session hope that makes sense well anyway i hope you enjoyed this little added extra to the whip and waffle i did tell you it was an evening sometimes sometimes things happen differently in this house in an evening but i hope that was helpful to you on why i've changed do let me know and say your thoughts on painting i think i might just do it anyway but you know um i'm up for a mammoth kitting up of three different sets uh, I have quite a few and I have three on the way, so it'll even things out again. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.